Thank you for joining me. I'm Alex and I want to talk to you about Float. So Float is basically getting paid before paying for the same thing. Assume that you're a retailer. You buy your merchandise and then you sell your merchandise. Generally, you want to be paid for your merchandise before you pay your supplier, which means you order a bunch of supplies which get delivered to you and from that point on you have 30 days or maybe even 60 days or maybe even longer to pay the bill on that merchandise. Meanwhile you're selling the same merchandise right now and you're getting paid for that right now. So all that money is what's called float. So ideally you sell all the supplies today and get paid today and then you have 60 days to do with that money whatever you want. So um, you could invest that money or if you have debt, especially short-term debt, you can pay off some of the debt and save the interest on that. The net effect is the same. You're actually making money on money that doesn't belong to you. And what I mean is you obviously already have the liability to pay back your supplier in whatever time frame. And so the money is going to go out to the supplier eventually, but right now you can get interest on that money. And this is also one of the big reasons why you should be using credit cards for literally everything you buy, because you have almost two whole months sometimes between when you pay for something and when you need to pay it back. The problem is that you need to pay it back, obviously, so that's that's a bit of a bummer, but let's say I just got my credit card bill today, so then everything I buy right now goes on the next credit card bill, which I get in a month, with a due date three to four weeks later. So I have a month and three to four weeks to actually pay off what I buy right now. So I could buy something on a credit card right now, pay off some of the other debt that I have, and then in about two months, I need to pay off the credit card. Um, obviously, usually the time is shorter than that. If you buy something right before you get the bill, that's not very much float that you generate there. But the, the net effect is the same. So the thing is that you need to be really good at budgeting to make sure you have the money to pay off what you buy today in two months. And Everything you buy, any high spending month that you have, let's say your washing machine breaks. So obviously you buy a new washing machine, you put it on a credit card, and then you pay it off at some point in the future. And there is kind of a drag off the high spending months that you need to pay off fairly far into the future, which means that all the money that you save today don't actually mean anything because it's money that you kind of saved in two months, right? So that's why if you're really good at budgeting and you really know what you're doing and then you rein in your spending and then you don't think you're getting anywhere because the money you save today is money that you would have paid off two months from now. So it's kind of like, I'm not getting anywhere. Why? I'm saving all this money. I'm being really frugal. And then two months from now, you're like, oh, my credit card bill is 400 instead of $600. That really makes a difference. But for a long time, you don't really notice anything. So that is float. And um, it's actually more important, as Warren Buffett mentions, for like the insurance business, because you're not paying all the money back, right? So you get paid today for a policy. Some policies um, get paid six months in advance. So the customer pays you for the six coming months right now, which is a lot of money that you have coming in. 
And then over the next six months, any accidents that they get into eat into your profits. But generally, obviously, you're making a profit. So let's say the customer pays you $100. You need to, over the next six months, pay back maybe 90 of that. And the, I assume the margins are much higher than that. But I, I don't know that much about the insurance business. I just know that a lot of those are fairly profitable. So clearly, they're doing uh, something right. Anyway. That's it for today. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. If you like videos like this, I'm coming out with more videos every day before market open. I hope you have a successful day.